Hi, Bob Grinier here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project, and I'm here with Slobodan Stankovic, and uh, we discovered something last night for the first time with his radiation detector. Before we go into what we found, uh, we'll talk about the detectors themselves. So uh, they're in modules like this, and they have six banks of three pin diodes, and uh, there is a, a thin aluminium foil uh, to protect them and to do some uh, radiation discrimination and they're in a three to four millimeter uh, case a very sturdy little unit and these are packed uh, in an array which can move in and out uh, around a central point now it's originally designed so there was two sections of these and they would go around the, the jet in the middle however in the actual arrangement up here you can see where the uh, the jet is here and actually it's set back quite some margin to allow this tray in that we were using uh, with the tungsten last night. So it's, it's set quite a, a way back. So you can imagine that the solid angle through the window uh, at the front is um, much more uh, unrestricted uh, compared to the ones at the side which are restricted by the body. And bear that in mind. Now what we did do is we tested to see the signal uh, which is here. This is the kind of background noise that comes from the, uh, um, the this various array. So I think we've got these. These are the nodes of the actual detectors. Like one one of these is a node. You can see this is node eleven. Uh, so we've got node two through two seven, and then these are the uh, pairs of triple uh, diodes that go along the height uh, exactly. down down this way. Now what we did is we fired uh, um, a red, green, green and uh, UV blue uh, laser, uh, which has uh, the, the UV one has some frequency doubling on, on uh, infrared. And we fired those directly into the port uh, here and did not see any change in the noise level. And we also did the uh, strontium-90, yttrium-90, polonium-210 and uh, the uh, cobalt-60. And again, we didn't see anything uh, measurable uh, being detected by these. However, when we were running the uh, tungsten here, that you can see here with the uh, uh, HHO last night, what did we see, Slobodan? Walk us through what we saw. So we have here data from different, I call them layers, uh, from each node, as we see here on the background. So th these are the layers for each node, layer one, two, three, four. That means that for the each node, you have the same the same line which is measured mm -hmm. so what we have here is for example for the layer one on the different moment we have some really big uh, uh, peaks in uh, in values at different times when we were putting the uh, tungsten inside the, uh, the oxy hydrogen flame. So what we're looking at here is that the noise is around about 25 yeah. average, yeah. something yeah. like that. It's yeah. a quick look. It's uh, 50, under the 50 or 30. And yeah. we have um, a peaks around 250, which is which is five times higher than the, the mm -hmm. noise mm -hmm. background. And at specific time, and those uh, are the and they're, same. they're in sync between a couple of different sensors, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, if I take off uh, different sensors, for example, we can see that few of them represent, like for example, number three. If we remove the four, there are also a few of them. Five, mm, a little bit a on little five, bit, five, and the six almost uh, nothing. So okay, so what are, that would be then, if we're looking in here, so in is... So layer 1, this is the, um, I suppose, uh, the sensor 3, 4, 5, that means... So th this is 2, the, isn't it? This is um, number 2, that, so th this will be yeah. 1, 2, so 3, 4, or 5, this... Okay, so these look like they would be the ones that have the biggest part of their open port available to the yeah. sample that would be here. And I think it's inverted because it's still development, the, the law of program. So the thing, I think these here right. are the, the layer one, two, okay. three, four, and five, etc. So these will be the layer one, these one, this one, and this one, which is picking up some, you know, uh, uh, activity. From the, uh... Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I mean, one wonders whether something's coming down, interacting with this carbon, and then coming up, 
and bouncing up, uh, which is why it's in this lower area. Um, or, you know, because if it was coming from this sample, there's a clean line of flight there and there's a clean line of flight there, but it would have to travel further to go up there. So right. what, what is this radiation? Uh, don't know. Let's, let's have a look through the data a little bit more. Um, so this is this layer is a, two. Layer one, if we go to the layer two, there is a very, very Oh, I see. Yeah, you've got the title you know, at the top there. Yeah, okay. layer two. But we, if we see here, for example, the background is something like uh, 60. We have something here, maybe it's you know picking up mm -hmm. at the same time, not much, uh, but here is for example very uh, you know specific. Right. Uh, if we see, let's take off, then we'll take a look. For example, six nothing. The five, it's a very low. It, there is just a background. Number four. Number three, background, a little bit, yeah, 50, 60. And uh, here, something on the sensor too. But, mm, yeah, it's like, uh, no, it's background. And this is the background also. So we have only number four, which is this one, uh, on the layer three. So the layer three, uh, number four is just number four one two three four and we have the layer three I, by i one two three something here this right one, okay so it's pretty much in line with the sample isn't it yeah yeah okay so i wonder whether because we saw some things flying out didn't we uh some we, th there, there were kinetic particles and ones yeah. that were going so fast at 240 frames per second they didn't seem to have much of a kinetic trajectory yeah. um, and also on the uh, we used this uh, welding uh, um, yeah, filter uh, here sure, uh, sure, yeah. it's a couple of different types and uh, we saw through there, there there were these balls that then were kind of jumping around a bit and then they mm. would suddenly disappear so we're speculating that maybe they get to a point where they just explode um, yeah. maybe uh, and that would account for these things that come off and and could it be that some of these were interacting or getting close and that was the thing that was going on I don't know mm, it has to be a lot of these because yeah the counts are for it's over um, a long period of time isn't it yeah, during it during is, the actual exposure yeah, of the so gas if we have uh, uh, you know number of it should be seen how much uh, you know counts uh, per second anything on layer four uh, this is the number four, layer four, layer four, we have <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of things, let's so say, let's take off all these. Okay, it's, 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 okay. sensor six. Uh, it's got a bit, sensor a six bit, has got yeah. a bit on there. Well, uh, a little bit, but it's, you know, very low, nothing. You but know, it's, it's picking, picking nothing, nothing up here, yeah, but during very, those periods yeah, of time. It's very, very, you So know, do, you, do you want to drop precious. that in with layer four, is it? Let, layer, layer four. Yeah, see, that's got a clear signal there, yeah, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's over there something, but yeah, it's yeah. very. And, weird. and what are, what was that on sensor five? Sensor five. That's got it as well, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, okay. This uh, the sensor five is like two hundred. Yeah, two hundred fifty. Yeah. This one is also two hundred fifty around. Number three. Let's take off these two to just to compare. Number and your your son made this uh, visualization tool up, right? Yeah, it just last week uh, I told him that I need something because I don't have time to do everything. And so this is how things come together. And so, yeah. you know, am I right in saying you've actually never seen anything on this to date? No. And no. so this is the first time. So we we're, we're going to try and uh, do a quick run using the remainder of the tungsten here for for a quick run, yeah. just to see if uh, we can see that uh, changing and actually we've got a kind of real time or, or, or a, you know, time sequence pulse here yeah. so I think what I'll do is I'll set a camera up so we're looking at this okay and we'll have a camera looking at that okay and uh, we should be able to get those two timed together that okay would be, that would be fun okay. Be, yeah okay, okay so let's do that then